Welcome to the Limo Anywhere video on hourly rates and setting up hourly rates. Hourly rates are set up under vehicle types and for each vehicle type. So to get there, you go to My Office, Company Resources, Vehicle Types. Once in here, you will edit the vehicle type. Go to the Rates tab. And the first thing that pops up is the Per Hour Rates. So the first thing you want to do is select the rate matrix you want to add the rate to. All systems have default already created. If you want to add a new rate matrix, you can give it a name and create that matrix. But one matrix is only going to be the default matrix. You're going to put in your standard rate. Here I have 50. Put in your minimum number of hours for this vehicle type and rate. I'm going to leave it at 1 and then you will associate it with a multiplier rate. In this case I'm associating it with per hour. You also have your peak rate. You can set up a peak rate schedule here below. If it's all day just check mark the day. If you need it to be during certain times, say 6 p.m. to midnight, on a Friday, you can. And just put in your peak rate here and the minimum hours here. So for this case, I'm going to charge a little bit more, 75 with a minimum of one hour, and you associate it with a multiplier rate as well. In this case, I have it associated to per hour. And update that. So that's a basic way to set up your hourly rates. Now you also can set up a sliding scale hourly rate. That is done here. So you have your number of hours from, so I'm going to say 0 to 1. It's going to be 50. I'm going to add that because that's my initial standard price here. And I'm going to do 1.1 to 2. And I'm going to put 45. The reason you want to do 1.1 is because if you just put 1 here and you have a 1 here, the system won't know which one to choose. So we usually put the 1.1 to 2 so it differentiates from this one. We'll just keep going. 2.1 to 3. I'm going to do 40. And then 3.1 to 12. I will put in 35. So this is just an example, but in this case, if the client booked one hour, it would be $50. So that's one times 50. This is the rate per hour. If they booked in between 1.1 hours and two hours, it's $45 per hour. So that'll be $90, two times 45, and so on and so on. You can always edit these or delete these, recreate them, add them if you need to here. One thing I will mention though is that if you do use the sliding scale, that supersedes uh, the peak rate. So if you have this, it will never apply the peak rate online. Now like I said before, you can add other matrices. So I'm going to add a new matrix and I'm going to call it corporate and I'm going to create that matrix so now I have my corporate rate matrix the standard rate I'm going to change it to my corporate rate set my peak rate schedule for my corporate rate matrix and set my peak rate you can also do the sliding scale as well for this matrix it's entirely up to you. 
So now you see I have two rate matrices. I have the default, which has different pricing, and then I have my corporate, which has different rates than the default. So you can set up multiple rate matrices. So you have prom pricing, wedding pricing, things like that. You can use matrices to differentiate between those. Now each vehicle type has its own hourly rates. So this was just for the sedan. So now I need to set up the rates for my SUV. I'm going to edit that vehicle type, go to the rates tab, select the rate matrix that I want to edit the rates on. In this case, it's default. And I'm going to put in my standard rate and peak rate for my SUV. Also set up a different peak rate schedule if you like, or the sliding scale. If you have multiple rate matrices, make sure you go into those for each vehicle type and edit those as well. You can create multiple rate matrices if you need to. Prom, wedding, anything that you charge hourly for that you want a different price for, for each vehicle type. Now, in the back office, by default, it's only going to use the default rate matrix. However, you can go to accounts. Say you have a client. You can edit them go to their financial data tab and here you can assign them to an hourly rate matrix that's something other than your default so in this case you can assign them to the corporate if it's on not selected it's going to assign them to the default rate matrix um, but i'm going to go ahead and assign it to the corporate for this one Another thing you can also do is if you have online reservation 4.0, you can go in here and turn on my hourly service type. You'll see this column here for matrix. You can click on it and assign it to a different matrix. If it's default, then it stays at default. Let's say I had a prom also that's hourly that has different rates and I had a prom matrix that I wanted to assign to that I could do that here so they would get that pricing matrix instead of the default and also if you're applying a rate to an hourly reservation create a new reservation if you have one already existing you're going to select the service type vehicle type and down here apply rate table you have the hourly so this is going to list you the basic, the peak rate, and if you did use a sliding scale. Once you click on that, it's going to populate that into the per hour rate. This is how you set up hourly rates within Limo Anywhere. Thank you very much.